Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. I figured that we had so much fun yesterday, we would do it all over again today. How does that sound? for you. We are going to be taking a look at Eugenia's most recent TikTok stream. This occurred in the afternoon of Wednesday, June 26th. So we're going to go through it, look at the key highlight moments. I think it worked out pretty well where I could kind of listen to maybe 10 minutes of it. Nothing really goes on, but then respond to it when she says something of substance. Something of substance is subjective. All right. Let's all get our TSA pre-check in order and head on out to Europe. Next stop, Dominican Republic. All right, here we go. It looks like she's doing her makeup. Now, when we started yesterday's stream, she already had her makeup done. So I'm guessing this is going to be an application of makeup stream. It looks like I got a little over two hours worth of footage for this. Okay, yeah. And she takes every bit of the two hours to do her makeup. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> what is going on at two hours, five minutes, or one minute? <laughs> I have no idea. But okay, all right, let's do our makeup for two hours. I would imagine that Jeffrey will get mentioned within the first 30 seconds. Uh, what, what do we think? First, first 10 seconds? First 15 seconds? First five seconds? All right, let's see. Okay, you guys, so we're also using our Jeffrey. Ah! This is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my, what was that? Seven. Seven. Oh my. <laughs> it never gets old, y'all. It really doesn't. But I would just say, like, you know, don't let other people stop you. Like, if you want to try a really bright look and that makes you excited, like trying um, some really cool bright makeup, I just say go for it. It's like how I, what I think about it, you know? And it's like some people might maybe just like, you know, um, maybe not be into it or like whatever. But I think there's a lot of people that like probably will like it and and will think it's cool that you're just like being yourself and and that's really what's the most important thing too is that like you know you like it and i would just say try it just like see how you like it natty olivia th well said express yourself if you want to go out into public and have a five foot tall flaming mohawk that has purple streaks in it I will advocate for it. I always make a point to tell people in public that their makeup really looks good. I mean, it has to look good. I'm not just going to tell you your makeup looks good just because you're wearing makeup. It has to look good. But <clears throat> I mean, I just know how expensive makeup is and clearly how much time it takes people. So I do make a point to mention to people that their makeup looks good. I think that you should be able to wear what you want to wear, you know, as long as it's not uh, infringing on anyone else or, you know, outwardly offensive or whatever. Um, well said. I like that. Here's the thing, though, and not to put my little glass half empty pessimistic spin on things, but this is kind of what I'm talking about when I say toxic positivity. Eugenia walks a very thin line with telling people things that a majority of people would agree with, such as if you want to wear bright colored makeup, go ahead. If that makes you happy, go ahead. I think that most people would agree with that. If something makes you happy, go ahead and do it. But here's the thing and how Eugenia kind of blends that sort of philosophy into the ED and that discussion. So... When I hear her say things like, you should be yourself, don't let anybody say that you shouldn't do whatever you want to do, live the life that you're meant to live, don't let it... You see how that's kind of vibing with toxic positivity, walking that very fine line? I think that there are some things that we could say, yes, if you want to go out and you want to wear a studded belt or if you want to wear very bright makeup, sure thing. But where that becomes a problem is when you start to blend that kind of ideology in with things like the ED. 
So Eugenia on here is a very big advocate for express yourself, wear what you want, do what you, you know, wear bright makeup, whatever. But do you see how that can kind of be misconstrued and manipulated into a type of conversation where a teenager, for example, would not be able to discern between the two? Well, you know, ED is a part of me. It's a way in which I express myself. It's the way that I want to live. It's the way that I want to look. I like looking like this. I like, do you see how that's a dangerous conversation? So, I mean, you just got to pay attention and you just got to keep a tab on this, this kind of stuff. Because Eugenia in the past has said a lot of things along the line of, you know, I like looking like the way I look. I like, you know, I'm very content with the way that I look, uh, things like that. So when you're kind of hugging that conversation of accept everybody, do what you want, make what do make life comfortable for you express yourself when you kind of lean into that a majority of people agree but when you try to sneak little conversations in like ed it's like oh you know accept everybody it's like uh <clears throat> you know so it, it, you just got to keep an eye on it got to keep an eye on it because i mean it's very sneaky and it's very manipulative and when eugenia comes on here with her soft voice and her very cute demeanor and stuff like that it's kind of like Oh, this got blended very easily, and now we're talking about something completely different. Thank you so much for the heart, me. Hi, Nina. You're from Switzerland. Wow. That's awesome. I've never been to Switzerland before, but it seems like a cool place, I'm sure. Oh, God, not this shit again. All right, well, we're Switzerland located, north of Florida. <laughs> I swear, you could tell Eugenia that you live anywhere and it would be cool and amazing. I'm being held hostage off the coast of Somalia. <gasps> wow! I've always wanted to be held hostage off the coast of Somalia. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. It must be really beautiful there. <laughs> I love this one. So I'm just going to kind of like blend that with like this pink yeah it makes such a big difference it's amazing <laughs> in a lot of the random footage that i filter through she keeps saying pretty this is such a pretty pink this is the prettiest pink i've ever seen and i keep wanting to make a molly ringwald joke <laughs> She also went on to say that a lot of you have been asking about my dress. Everyone wanted to know where I bought it. You remember she wore this dress like a couple weeks ago and everyone called it a nighty. Um, she said she got it from Love Shack. It's like, oh, okay. I, I don't know what that is, but apparently the B-52s hand delivered this to Eugenia. Isn't that lovely? I didn't know they were making clothes now. Isn't it so pretty? Okay, you should definitely buy it. You can buy it on TikTok shop. Um <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Don't you love it? Doesn't it look so good? Isn't it so pretty? <gasps> okay, well, you can buy it in my TikTok store. Go ahead, click the link. Make sure you click the heart me while you're at it. Go ahead. You can click on it. You can, It'll take you straight to Jeffrey's website. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> Um, it's one of the Jeffrey eye glosses, the Jeffree Star eye glosses, and this one, you guys? Of course it is. Of course it is. So, this is kind of how it works. Eugenia gets sent PR items, she wears them on TikTok, and then she tells her audience to buy them. Well, this is no different than QVC or like one of those, you know, those old channels that like old people love to watch and like call in and like buy like a diamond bracelet or something. This is the same exact shit, except it's for Gen Z. <laughs> oh, my. It is the tacky frost. It's like just like this gorgeous pink. And I'm telling you, see, when you put it on, it's like a new level. 
She looks like she has a black eye. It really does. It looks like Jeffrey just took care of her and then gave her a free lip gloss. Except it's pink. Actually, you know what? Maybe after Jeffrey beats someone up, they do get a pink eye instead of a black eye. Huh. I don't know. I've never been beat up by a beauty guru. Has any, have any of you? That's hard to say. Beat up by a beauty guru. Try to say that three times fast. <laughs> it's so true, Rob. Honestly, Jeffrey just has like the absolute best formulas. Yay, you're going to buy it, Sherbot. That's awesome. You're going to love it. Trust me. It's really such an amazing product. Like so does she make commission on it? Does anyone know? Like in her TikTok shop, if you go and you click through Eugenia to buy this pink shit that she's putting on her eye. I mean, yeah, Jeffrey obviously gets the money because it's his product. But like, does she get a cut? I don't know how the TikTok shop, shop works. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, Steven with the massage. Thank you, Steven. That massage gift is so cute. Well, wait, was it David or was it Steven? She thanked two people. David with the massage. Thank you, Steven. Hold on, am I, am I missing something? Oh my gosh, Steven with the massage. Oh, she said Steven, but it sounded like David. Huh. Well, it's like when you, uh, remember that meme that was like popular like six years ago? It was like, oh, is this dress blue or is this dress gold? Did y'all hear Steven or did you hear David when she did that? I heard David. Did y'all know that that guy who took the photo of the dress, you know, the dress that was like, is this dress blue or is this dress gold? Got arrested recently for strangling his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. See what, see what fame does to people? I mean, who knows what I'll be doing in five years from now. <laughs> <laughs> you think the fame will go to my head? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> A massage gift. Steven, thank you for the massage. Um, I don't know. I just picture like a 14-year-old boy and his mom seeing her credit card statement and it's saying, TikTok massage. <laughs> Steven! What is this charge on my Discover card? TikTok massage. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, actually, I'll tell you another thing. There was a massage parlor not too far from me that got busted recently for giving out happy endings. Mm. <laughs> you gotta watch out for those massages. Yeah. The origin of my name. So it's kind of funny, you guys. The origin of my name, it's actually a Greek name, I think. Um, when I was born, my name was actually not Eugenia. It was actually Colleen. Um, and then really, really, really on, like, I guess my parents just kind of decided. Colleen Cooney? Huh. Well, the brother's name is Chip. Okay, so were they kind of going for, like, a... Uh... Kardashian thing, like everybody's name starts with K. Chip Cooney, Colleen Cooney. Hmm. Okay. Colleen Cooney. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. We don't want her to be Colleen. Um, and this is really sad, but I think it's around the time that like my great grandma passed, actually. I don't think I ever got to meet her. But my mom really, really loved her. And um, her name was Eugenia. And she actually named me, I believe, after her. And. So the grandma passed away and then they changed your name from Colleen to Eugenia? Oh. Huh. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could change a kid's name. I feel like you'd have to go to a lot of trouble to change a kid's name. I mean, after you kind of sign off on the birth certificate and everything. Oh, by the way, we were just kidding. But speaking of Kardashians, didn't Kylie do that? Like she named her son Wolf 
And then she was like, oh, just kidding. I want to name him Air. Which I, I honestly don't know what's worse. Wolf or Air. <laughs> huh. Um, also, it's a Greek name. If you met like what is like the origin like that. Um, which is kind of funny because I actually don't even think that I'm like Greek at all. Oh, Liv! Live your best life. Thank you so much with the heart pop. And that's your first gift ever, which I think is really, really sweet because really you guys, like whenever I see that, that like there's somebody that actually has never given a gift before. And you know, there's so many people on the app that you could like choose to give that to. Micah, thank you. Aw, you took their virginity. <laughs> You took their e-begging virginity. <laughs> I was the first person that you ever sent a gift to on TikTok. That means so much to me. Huh. <laughs> Eugenia out here taking V cards. I am happy right now, Eve. You know, okay, I feel like with like being happy, um, it's definitely really hard, I think, to like always be happy always in life you know like life can be really really hard sometimes sometimes i think we all go through like difficult times and moments and and i definitely have you know but i really <laughs> oh no eugenia talking about life being hard <gasps> uh, well it helps to live in a mansion. It helps to be f from an affluent family. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, no, life, yeah, hard. Uh huh. Um, Eugenia's gone through things, y'all. I mean, she had her TikTok account taken down for what four months. She's gone through a lot in the thirty years that she's been around. Gone through a lot, y'all. So, um. It's hard to be happy all the time. Eugenia is terminally happy. Terminally delightful. Always happy. Um, or at least shows that she's always happy. And she makes it look effortless. Huh. Little contradictory. Do you just try to always stay positive? And I'm really thankful... Um, for the good people in my life and for God blessing me with some really amazing people in my life and good moments and stuff. So, I mean, I definitely do try to always stay positive and exactly, Jess, I try to just always push through exactly. And I think that's what we just all got to do, you know, is try to stay as positive as we can in life and never give up. Erica, thank you with the team bracelets. Thank you, skeletons with the team bracelets. I really appreciate it, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, skeletons. <laughs> Sunny, so I don't really do like gaming streams now or anything, um, but I like video games. Like I think they're fun. So like sometimes they're fun to play, like, you know, just like when you have time. Hi, Dan, you're from- When you have time? <laughs> I don't think that Eugenia likes video games. I think that Eugenia, right now, what she's doing is exactly what she's always wanted. Because with YouTube, you have to put in a little more uh, effort with vlogging. You have to go out, you have to do shit, you have to drive around, you have to make the vlog a little bit interesting. With Twitch, I mean, you got to play video games on there. You got to interact with your chat. I mean, with this, all she has to do is sit there, put on makeup, and encourage people to send her money and thank people that have already sent her money. So this is really the perfect platform for her. I think this is exactly what she's been looking for. I do. I don't think Eugenia likes video games. I think it was just another way for her to, you know expand her influence and reach a new demographic because 
I mean, you know, people who watch videos on YouTube and people who watch videos on Twitch and people who watch videos on TikTok, like, it's all a bunch of different people. And I think that Eugenia is very interested in expanding her influence and her image on as many platforms as possible. So she was able, she was really able to get to that gamer demographic by being on Twitch and, you know. It also helped that Twitch really didn't give a shit that she showed her body off, like, probably the worst out of any other platform. So, yeah, that's a bonus. But video games? I don't know. Maybe if they made, like, a Jeffree Star video game. But other than that, I don't think that Eugenia really gives a shit. Finland, too. Nice. We get a lot of you guys from Finland coming in today. That's awesome. Finland's like in Europe, I think, right guys? Finland seems like a cool place. Thank you, Michael, with the little crown. When did these streams become a geography lesson? <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you think that she does this on purpose? Finland's in Europe, right? Yeah, it's right next to Dominican Republic. Uh-huh. Do you think she does it on purpose? I honestly don't know. And that's some good trolling. You shouldn't be able to tell that someone is trolling. That's what makes a good troll. The little crowd is so cute. Thank you, Michael. All right, y'all. I think that that is going to be it for today's episode. Kind of a shorter one. I know usually we go a bit longer and everything, but I'll tell you what. Of the hour and a half of footage I went through, not much to say. Not much to say. But uh, appreciate you watching. Let me know your feedback on this episode, and I will see you soon. Take care, everybody.